Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name's Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using layouts in Middleman. Layouts are basically special HTML files that are used as templates for all the other HTML files on your website. Imagine on your website, you wanted to have a basic layout for each page, right? So you wanted all the pages to look the same, but obviously the content would be different. So maybe you wanted a header and you wanted a footer, but then inside you wanted the actual content to be different. Well, you could use a middleman layout in order to do something like that. So inside of a middleman layout, you could write out the code for the header and the footer. And then what you could do is insert the you know page specific HTML code inside of that template depending on the page that you're on. So if I was on the home page, then the home page content would get inserted into the layout. If I was on one of my content pages, maybe like a blog post or something, then the blog post would get inserted into that layout. So every single page on our website would be using the same layout and using the same code for that header or that footer, but the actual content of the page would be changing uh, as you went from page to page. So it's actually really easy to use layouts in Middleman. And I just want to talk about my setup. So I'm over here, I'm on the home page of my website and I have a few different HTML files that we're going to look at. But first thing I want to look at is this layout.erb file. And this is the default layout that is included with Middleman. So I didn't create this layout. This was just already there for me. And you'll notice it's inside of this layouts folder, inside of the source folder, and it's called layout.erb. So it's using this ERB extension, which stands for embedded Ruby. And inside this layout file, we basically just have an HTML skeleton. Um, and then down here in our body, we have this special tag right here. So Essentially, this layout.erb file is the layout that's being used for all the pages on our website. And just to sort of demonstrate that, I'll prove it to you. I'm just going to write like this is the layout. And here I'm just going to put the same thing. So I'll put a break. This is the layout. And now when I go to the different pages on my website, what you're going to notice is that all of the content on the pages is going to be surrounded by these two lines of text. So we're here on the home page. When I refresh this page, you'll notice that this is the layout and this is the layout both show up on this page and the content that's inside of those pages is getting wrapped. So on the home page, we're using this index.html file and all of the code in here is getting put inside of this uh, layout. If I go over to this a.html file, so I'll navigate to it in my web browser, it's the same thing, right? So all I have on this a.html file is this is a.html, and it's using this layout. So that content is put inside of this layout. Um, so back over here on that layout.erb file, you'll notice that there's this special tag right here, and this is a special tag in middleman which basically tells middleman to insert the code for the specific page into the layout so when i'm on the index.html page when i'm on the home page of the website this will actually be a placeholder for all of the code that's supposed to go on that page when i'm on that a.html file this becomes a placeholder for the code that's inside of that a.html file. So wherever you put this in your layout, the content of the current page is gonna get inserted into there. And that's sort of the basics of templates is you define a high level template and then inside of that high level template, you can embed all of your information or you can insert all of your information. And you can actually take this a step further by creating your own custom layout. So imagine there was a scenario where um, on one of my pages, I wanted to use one layout and on another one of my pages, I wanted to use a different layout. Well, in order to do that, we can create another layout file. So I'm just going to make a new file and we'll call this layout2.erb. So this will be like our second layout. And I'll just put a basic HTML template here. And inside of here, we're gonna put that uh, yield. So if you remember over here, we had this yield tag. I'm just gonna throw that inside here. And again, this will just sort of wrap the content. So imagine that instead of using the template that we have over here on our website, we wanted to use this one. So, um, or we'll just say like new layout. 
and we can make a horizontal rule as well. So this will be like our new um, layout for our page. Now, if I want to adjust the which layout each file is using, I can do that inside of the front matter. So I'll go over here to this a.html file. And up here, I just want to create some front matter. It's going to be YAML front matter. So I'm going to create it just like this. And I can say layout. And instead of using the normal layout, which would just be layout, I'm going to put the name of our new layout, which is layout2. And so now what's going to happen is instead of this a.html file using that original layout, it's now going to be using that layout2. So when I refresh this page, you'll see that's exactly what happens, right? We have these new layout tags, and then inside is this a.html file. So you can control the layout that a page is using just up here in the front matter. And so on a page by page basis, you can really like control which pages use which layouts. Another way that you can control layouts, and this is a little bit more powerful of a way, is um, inside of our config.ruby file. Imagine there was a scenario where uh, you had a specific directory of files and you wanted all of the files inside of that directory to use a specific layout. And so instead of having to manually specify which layout they're using up here in the front matter, imagine you wanted to be able to just specify that in one place and then all of the files in a given directory would use that layout. That's exactly what we can do. Heading over here to this config.rb file, I can basically type out this. I can say page. And then inside of here, I want to put the name of the directory that I want to specify the layouts for. In our case, we'll just say it's dir1. And then inside of dir1, I want this to be applied to all the pages. So I'm going to put an asterisk. And we're going to put layout. And we're going to set this layout equal to that layout2. So by default, everything is using that layout file. But let's say that we want all the files inside of directory1 by default to use this layout2 file. And so once that's set, if I head over here to uh, my source folder, you'll notice that I have this directory one directory here, and I have a file in here, b.html.erb. So what should happen now is notice that I didn't specify the layout inside the front matter, but by default, this b.html file should be using that new layout. And so I'll head over to that here in my browser, and you'll see that here we're on this b.html file and it's using that new layout. So what's going to happen now is any files that I create inside of directory one are just by default going to use that layout. So that's another way that layouts can be really powerful. And I want to talk about one more thing that you can do with these layouts, which is to embed them. And so imagine that you wanted to have um, you know, one overarching you know, high level layout for all the pages on your site, but then you wanted to have like different layouts that you could add into that. So you'd have this higher level layout and then maybe for one type of page on your site, you'd have another layout that would go inside of it. In other words, a layout for a layout. And there's actually a way that we can do that, which is by modifying some of the code that's inside of our initial layout. So you remember inside of this config.rb file, we set all of the files in directory one to use layout two. So let's say that we actually want layout two to use the original layout as its layout. So it's a nested layout. I can head over to my layout two file and inside of here, I'm going to surround the code with um, special tags. So in our case, we'll get rid of this uh, HTML skeleton because remember, we'll let layout one take care of the HTML skeleton for us. And in here, I just want to type in some code. And it's going to be open and closed greater than and less than signs. And then inside of here, we just want to put wrap underscore layout. And then I just want to put colon and then the name of the layout. So in our case, it's just that default layout. And then the same thing down here, we're just going to include some ending tags. And it's just going to say end just like that. So now what should happen is when I refresh this b.html page, not only should it show this layout two, but it should also show layout one layout. Yeah, the original layout um, as well. So I can refresh the page. And actually, you know what I forgot in here, you also have to type do just like that. 
forgot to put that in there. Now when we refresh the page, you'll notice that not only are we using the original layout, but we're also using the new layout and then we have the content. So when you use these wrap layout tags like I used up here, and again, make sure you add this DO at the end, I forgot to do that. That basically says to middleman like, hey, we wanna use this as a nested layout. And so we want this layout to itself be using a layout, which is this layout. And that layout that gets nested just gets nested inside of this yield. So like wherever the yield is, that acts as like a placeholder for the other uh, layout. So that's sort of the basics of using layouts inside of middleman. Obviously like the more layouts that you create, like the more complex you can make the layout structure of your site. What I would recommend doing is what I just showed you, which is uh, nesting the layout. So have one overarching layout that has, you know, all the HTML tags and like the heading tag and stuff like that. And then inside of that, you can have uh, lower level layouts for the specific types of pages on your website. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.